I'm doing pop culture, entertainment, things like that. This here is from jihadwatch.org. Not familiar with them, but they had this article out here. It was kind of interesting from January 7th, 2023. It's called Madonna's Mawali Orphanage Accused of Child Moving Around Based on LGBTQIA plus content. Let's see what we got. As you can see, there are some words here that are kind of sensitive. So I'll be using some cold language, but I'm sure you guys will know what I mean. Here we go. And it begins here. The Ethiopian World Federation has gone to Malawi's president, Lakaris Chakawara, in order to ask that he investigate homosexual and transgender allegations over the adoption of the Malawian children for possible human moving around and social experiments. At the center of the controversy is American pop queen Madonna, her charity Rising Malawi and the woke icon's exploration of Malawian authority and its most vulnerable children. The Federation is asking that President Chakawara restrict her and her associates' accessibility to Africa and African children as a precautionary measure until a thorough investigation is done into child moving around, exploitation, slavery, adoption reversal, threat of coercion, fraud, deception and abuse of power or vulnerability that's a lot of accusations there and a lot of things that could be going on that's wrong the principle of innocent until proven guilty should be remembered in this case but there are undeniable facts to consider regarding madonna which render her unsuitable to be around children let alone to be given opportunity to influence them now i've been following madonna on and off obviously for a very long time I remember Material Girl coming out on MTV when I was like five or six years old. And I mean, she's always done things that are pretty out there. But I got to say, we do need evidence. Marilyn Manson's done things that are out there too, probably more so than Madonna in certain ways. So I can't just say, well, she's done some weird things, sexual stuff on stage, blah, 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 blah. So that means maybe she did it gotta see the evidence and for now they don't mention evidence but it is a pretty interesting thing to speculate on they're taking a hard sweater here they're not pulling punches they're not beating around the bush they're coming out and flat out accusing of some serious stuff the anything goes madonna who boasted that her son whom she adopted from malawi looks better in her clothes than she does was the center of controversy in 2006 for barging into the East African country in a private jet to boot, stepping outside of normal procedures and her fame, money, and privilege to gain access to Malawi's orphanages and adopt Malawian children. See, I don't understand what all the adopting is about from these celebrities in the first place, like Angelina Jolie. It just doesn't quite work for me. I, I just can't quite wrap my head around it being legit and passionate. The Human Rights Consultative Committee, HRCC, filed a motion at that time to ensure that Madonna's adoption procedure followed the letter of the law, but it failed. Madonna felt that she was beyond the law and found a way to maneuver outside the law in Malawi. The Adoption of Children Act, which governs Malawi, is intended to apply equally to anyone considering adoption, regardless of status and income. As one children's rights advocate put it, procedures are there to ensure that we reduce incidences of children being trafficked, to reduce the incidences of children being separated from their parents. This is why we have rules, and now Madonna is being investigated for those very incidences, quote unquote. Ironically, Madonna claims to advance black rights. She was an avid supporter and participant in the Black Lives Matter protests of 2020, even attending a demonstration on crutches as she recovered from an injury. The Black Lives Matter movement, notorious for its presence around the George Floyd hoopla, has a much broader focus, including the rejection of Israel as an imperialist project, disruption of the Western prescribed nuclear family as an emphasis on colonialism, and an obsession with the white privilege. Despite Madonna's advocacy for black rights, she proceeded without caution to barge into Malawi and bully her way into establishing an orphanage. It has now been 17 years since Madonna landed in Malawi to rescue Malawian children. Madonna is known for outrageous publicity stunts and serving behavior. The Ethiopian World Federation petition states of Madonna that the psychology behind her ability to release child adult movies 
religious imagery, bestiality, and vulgar, once again adult movies, has promoted her to open an orphanage in Malawi named Rising Malawi in 2006 to host social experiments on vulnerable African children in Malawi. While Madonna is now being investigated for the horrors of exploiting and corrupting black children in Malawi, the usual voices that are quick to levy charges of racism, colonialism, white privilege, and the like are notably silent. Recently, Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney, who has been smeared by leftist ideologists, a far-right fascist, slammed France for exploiting African children, particularly in the gold mining industry and its hypocritical welcoming of African migrants. Now, that's not exactly what we talk about on this channel, but let's just say a lot of the people that I mostly disagree with are very hypocritical when the social issues go on in America and outside of America, but all in all, people are people. Anyway, not quite for this channel. I digress, but some of you guys might know what I'm talking about. So all in all, I agree with what they're saying here, but once again, we need to know more. We need some kind of evidence, and if Madonna's doing this with a bunch of kids, there must be some evidence some point somewhere. We're in 2023. They might not have as much available as far as cameras and ways to get evidence in the place we're talking about, but certainly there's got to be something. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. For the record, nothing against Madonna. She's a little weird. Dressing sexually for award shows in your 60s. I don't know. A little bit out there, but it doesn't actually prove anything. So waiting for more. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. I'm doing celebrity news, pop culture, stuff like that. If you're not subscribed, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.